I don't play my long irons that well, so I've always used hybrids, but I just realized they make single length hybrids. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I play single length irons from Cobra, and I guess I have just been lazy and not poked around their website more. And I didn't realize that the hybrids I was using, which were the Callaway Rogue Xs, which have been great, but I never really have played them as consistently as my irons. And that's because my single length irons allow me to just focus on one swing. And the Callaway hybrids are just a little bit longer, kind of your standard length, which is, I think, around 40 inches or so. But what I realized just recently, because someone in the comments told me that Cobra also has one length hybrids, which makes a lot of sense because they are basically the premium brand in the one length iron space. And so I thought I would give them a try. Now I actually ordered this in the three hybrid and the five hybrid. This is the 19 degree here. And I think the five hybrid is 24 degrees. And so far I really like them. They really look quite nice. Now, one of the things that I thought about when I ordered it from the picture is that they looked a little gaudy. They've got just a lot of stuff going on. They kind of look like a Nike athletic shoe or something like that. But you don't see this part when you're looking down on the club you only see the top part which is this really nice matte gray finish you have kind of these outlines right here in the colors that match the colors on the bottom this is very common with callaways too they kind of outline the club like that it actually has a pretty traditional hybrid shape in fact it's more rounded than my callaways they have a little bit of a square toe on them i actually think i like the square toe better but this is a traditional shape and so far as i've been looking at them i'm i'm kind of on board with it now, I will say that the bottom is where they get a little busy. You do have this weight here. It is a 12 gram weight. Looks like it's replaceable, but I think 12 grams is the heaviest that they make. So if you order the weight kit, I think you can only go down from there. But they seem really dense and heavy, which is actually what you'd expect from a hybrid. Now, the big thing about this is that they have these rails right here. And I was super stoked about this because everything I've seen, people love these. And when you're playing hybrids off the deck, Dude, it's really easy to kind of bury the head. Now, not bury it, but you lose speed, you chunk it a little bit, you uh, take a little more grass, maybe even a divot or something. And these rails are kind of to help you. Now, they only are maybe four millimeters thick, but when you think about swinging a club and trying to graze the ground, man, the margin of error is so thin. And if you're just a little shallow there, if you're coming in a little deep on the ball there, this might just help you get up over them. So you can see here that the ramps here are curved Curved. And so if you're coming down on it, you know, there's nothing sharp to dig in and bite on the ground. This should help you recover just a little bit. And the faces here aren't very deep. So you have a pretty small surface area to hit the ball with. So any help that you can get to get the small surface area on the ball is really going to help. So I'm really excited about these rails, even hitting out of divot in tall grass and things like that. They're really supposed to help. And I've never had these before. There are many times when I've had hybrid shots not come out the way I expected, and I thought rails like these would be a godsend. Now, I'm not sure why more companies aren't using these. I think Tour Edge actually has a hybrid that has like a center rail. I think they call it the Houdini or something like that. It's kind of one single rail that helps uh, keep any friction down. So that's also pretty clever, but maybe it's a patent issue or something like that. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is that the rail is actually two pieces. You've got kind of this leading edge here in silver and then this longer edge and they are separated. And that's because I think the bottom of this face is somewhat disconnected so that it kind of compresses. So if you hit the ball really low, uh, the face will kind of deform a little bit, take some of that impact to help rebound it. And if you have these two pieces connected, you have really two strong structural elements that do not allow the face to flex at all. So that's why they've broken it up here to give that a little compression on impact. So pretty clever there. Uh, this also comes with the recoil shaft, which is actually the same shaft that comes in my one length Cobra iron. So it's really nice because it, it almost looks like metal to me and I really like these in my iron. So we are going to go ahead and take this out to the range to see if they feel good. And then I'm gonna take them out to the course to see if they actually improve my game at all. Let's head out. So of all the clubs I've ever bought, I think these are the first clubs that I 
distinctly love more than the clubs they were replacing. Now, I actually really loved my Callaway hybrids. They were pretty nice. I did have a tendency to slice them or fade them just a little bit, but when I realized I could go to the one length, that made all the sense in the world. And because they are the same brand as my one length irons, I think they were going to have very similar feel and weight and characteristics that you would expect in a club. Now, on top of that, because they have the rails, these clubs were the most forgiving hybrids I've ever hit. When you do hit them right, when you do hit them like you would expect to hit a hybrid, you just kind of sweep it off the deck, you get it right in the center, man, these things fly a mile. I would say that these things flew as far or farther than my Callaway hybrids, even though they were quite a bit shorter. Now, on top of that, the miss hits, which were obviously intentional because I never miss hit a ball, but if I did hit behind the ball a little bit, which would result in a chunk, a miss hit, the ball tended to just go, 30 40 50 yards out there but on my miss hits the rails kind of allowed the club to swing through the ball still and i was getting 130 yard 140 yard 150 yard miss hits which was absolutely awesome now, this also might be a small thing, but for some of us that like to keep our clubs in really nice shape, what I also noticed is that those rails take the brunt of the abuse. So I noticed that I was getting some of that green plastic build up on the rails, but you don't get it really on the bottom of the club. If you look at the bottom of your clubs, they get scraped up from the ground, the turf mats, those types of things. But because those rails are lower, you actually kind of preserve the look of the head in total and the rails really just take the abuse, which is kind of nice. Man, I will tell you what, the these were the first clubs, like I said, that from the first swing they were playing as good as my current clubs or better and when I took them out into the course they were just easier to hit. The swing felt natural because it was the same swing and same shape and plane that I was taking with my irons and so they are a no-brainer. If you are into the single plane swing or single length irons, these are hybrids that you need to have. I like them all around and I think they are actually a really good value. Hey, if you want to pick them up, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.